midnight. David Hunt. There's someone. Yes, once. Oh, sorry, I'm back, back, back. I wanted to show him what I could do, so... Yeah, I, at the end of this game, and then we're gonna play something else. I took his hand, I told him to think of a loved one, and then... there was nothing. I mean, literally nothing, just an empty void. The only thing I could feel was his hand holding mine. I'm pretty sure without that I'd have... I'm not sure I could have made it back. What do you mean? Yes, I told Dr. Decker. Most other people wouldn't have believed me, but he did. In fact, he cared far more about the shifting than he did about his mum dying. I do think he didn't care. For a moment, I thought he might cry. Just for a split second. He didn't. He just carried on with our session. Oh, I wish I knew what went on there. Jaya probably knows. She spent quite a long time with Sarah when she visited. Interesting. You've never seen me angry, have you, Doctor? Don't say things like that when you don't mean them. It causes upset. Okay, you're weird, though. Yeah, I don't know, bad experiences. I become what people want to see. But some people, they're not right in the head. They make me turn into... What, porn star? ...horrible things. That's why I won't shift for anyone with mental problems anymore. Yeah, that's interesting, like... What horrible things. One guy, a patient, he used to have night terrors. An 80-year-old man screaming and kicking in his sleep. When I shifted for him, I don't know who I became, but as soon as he saw me... He drove from his dreams. Terrified. And when I looked down, I didn't have any legs. Just... Bits of them. Bits of legs? I'm not really helping, am I? Mm. You think I'm a good person? Yes, you are a good person. I hope so. I'm trying to be. I really am. Oh, you can ask other the patient, does Bryce give you the tips? Bryce? Mm, I'm not sure who that is. Does Mariana give you the creeps? I don't think I know her. Does Nathan give you a creeps? I don't know who Nathan is. Pilot? Sorry. Okay. Shift at work. I only shift when I want to. It doesn't happen on its own. I have to will it. Hmm. We have new notes. Let's ask about Jaya. Ah, okay, we did it. Upset? Doctor, I'm not sure I should be answering questions like that. What upset did I make? Mm, let me think. Shifting is what I'm supposed to do. It's what makes ah. me special. 
I know I've had a few bad experiences, but there's no way I'm going to stop shooting. Maybe kind of slightly lacking, I don't know. Was Dr. Decker near death? I thought about that a lot, because shifting is only supposed to work on people who are dying. But Dr. Decker was near death. Just because no one knew because it, it was the same day. The kind of gets you thinking about destiny and fate and everything like that. Fate. My mum's a big believer in fate. I'm not so sure. I mean, what about free will? If everything is fated to happen, then we're just machines carrying out commands. Maybe fate does have a plan for everyone, but who says we have to play along? And she's keen now. I think it's because I'm downloading a game in the background. So let me check actually. Yeah, but it's just like 15 minutes more and I need to download this game, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on. There yeah. Big natural. It must be frustrating, always asking and getting nowhere. Are you frustrated? I'm not frustrated. Interesting, but I don't know anything about that. Yes. No. I'm first. I see. And how does that make you feel? Tired. I don't know. She's playing my psychologist now. Makes me feel that. I see. And what are you going to do about it, Doctor? Play video games. Okay, I mean, Jaya is a tough one. Let me go to her. Or maybe this one. I'm just going to relax. Excellent. I'm glad we've cleared that up. It's green now. Okay. Not sure. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. There's one question that you yeah. Although I think I asked this already, because I'm using some guide in case I'm out of questions, but... Sorry, I... Okay, it's all green, let's go. You said you'd help me with my problem, but he's still here. Oh, creepy Mariana. Who is still here? Dr. Decker. He wants me to kill people. Why? He wants them to follow me. To the sea. To the creature. Okay. 
What happens when they follow you? It eats them. It's getting stronger. Dr. Decker says when it's strong enough, it's going to walk again. That's why I black out. Why do you black out? He doesn't want me to know. He doesn't want me to remember. I'm feeding a beast that wants to eat us all. Solo. You've got to tell me, Doctor. You have got to tell me the truth. What? You're dreaming, but your dreams are the truth. Don't forget me when you wake. I don't know how I'm in your dream, but now we're together. Let's play a game. I think she's a killer. Honestly. I say a word. You say a word. Ready? Guilty. Innocent. Murderer. Yo, Mariana. Wrong answer. Now you're stuck with me. Three little words and I'll let you go. I think she talked with Scarlet and... Uh, I love you. From backwards. Yes. Yes, you do. You rang my doorbell. The truck driver. The little girl. Killed himself. David is weird. If she's watching me. I need to put David. Molly. Out of his misery. Is it okay to steal things? Beeping tablets. Fingerprints. Dead bodies. I saw Jessica. Should I kill David? Hilda died last night. Do you think I should tell her about psychokinetics? The photos. Dr. Decker seemed to like a drink. Bit of a drinking problem. Probably the same for Jaya. One of his patients was trying to kill him. He lent me some money. Leaving him messages. Creature. Human flesh. I'd teleported. You you have that dream, Doctor? Insanity, please. Oh! You're a doctor. You look... Oh. There's something I need to tell you. I can't find Dr. Decker's prescription pad anywhere. I'm not sure when it went missing, but I don't remember seeing it for a while. Yours is there, but I'm scared one of the patients may have got their hands on it. Let me know if you find it anyway, and ask me about Mariana later. I've got news. Let's do it now. How are you today? I'm worried about you, Doctor. And the fingerprints on the bottle? Sorry, I dropped it. Why you dropped it? You just seem a little different from the person who turned up all those weeks ago. You don't talk to me as much as you did. You flitter between patients in a daydream. Tell me what things are bothering you. Not you trying to play my psychiatrist. Do you think I'm going insane? Don't joke about going insane, Doctor. That's one thing I can't let happen on my watch. If you become insane, then I'll snuff you out. Did you snuff Doc Decker out? Dr. Decker had, in my opinion, become clinically insane, and it was rubbing off on the other patients. Maybe I would have put a stop to it, but I didn't need to. The grandfather paradox did that for me. 
You think Grandfather Paddox killed Decker? Dr. Decker killed his grandfather by going back in time. At least he thought he had. An earlier version of himself knew this would happen, so to prevent him from preventing himself from being born in the first place, he took an overdose. Sleeping tablets and alcohol. At least that's how he explained it to me before he did it. I wish you would mention all of this before. What's about Mariana? I've been reviewing your files. I know, I know, I'm sorry, a bit naughty. But have you considered that Mariana may have murdered Dr. Decker because of the money she owed him? As she had most to gain. She got all the money if he died. And it makes most sense, doesn't it? How are you copying? I think I'm okay with the grief now. My mother died suddenly, and I think I was projecting Dr. Decker's death to be about her. I know they're not related. How did she die? My mother died suddenly, like Dr. Decker. For her, though, it was different. She burst into flames. I was seven. They said she must have been smoking and drinking on the sofa, but she doesn't smoke or drink. Professor Alderby said it was spontaneous combustion. What? According to Professor Alderby, people can will themselves to die. Some people will have heart attacks, some people will have strokes. Those who are truly despondent, they're the rare few that spontaneously combust. I'm not sure if I believe in all of that. Dr. Decker's prescription pad is still missing. I'll let you know if it turns up. I didn't know anything about that. If I have any grievances with my employer, I spit in their coffee. I hope that's how you like it. Do you spit in my coffee? Don't become like Dr. Decker. I think that somebody killed him because he was using them. There's some footage I can't show you because it would affect you too much. Suffice to say, when Mariana told him she could breathe underwater, he wanted the same power for himself. So instead of trying to cure her of it, he'd try and amplify it to see how it worked so he could imagine it for himself. I think he did that with all his special patients. I think he wanted all of their powers. If you believe in that sort of thing. Where the special? Any patient who presented with psychokinetic issues, they were his special patients. Towards the end, he began ignoring all the other cases. Most of the patients saw it as a curse what they were experiencing, what they were unwittingly doing. Dr. Decker saw it as an ability, a power to be harnessed and used for, well, God knows what he was going to use it all for. So we made them give in to it and it consumed them, consumed all of them. Whether you believe any of that or not is your choice, but they did, which made them angry. And that's why I think he was murdered by a patient. I think Tulu is sale. I'm not sure patients are improving. Your patients will always be a bother, but you're caring for people. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? In a few weeks' time, there'll be a whole new bunch of faces with a whole new bunch of quirks. Let's not have a whole new Doctor, shall we? It's not your job to find out who the murderer is. It's the police. You can only point them in the right direction. Murder is a means to an end. There's a lot more going on here you should be thinking about. Nah. A fictional space god that's resting at the bottom of the Atlantic. It's not likely, is it? Or maybe you think it is. Have you spoke to Mariana today? 
No. Yes, that is a worry. I agree. I say cockiness is, is a worry. You bother me. Oh my god, that's so rude. Why do I bother you, Doctor? Don't say things like that. Dr. Decker said things like that, and it didn't turn out that well for him. Powers. I once spoke to a patient here who claimed to be able to teach me how to get inside other oh, people's dreams, but how would you know if that worked? Have you had any strange dreams lately, Doctor? Yes, I had learned. Ayana said she could breathe under water. I spot check the sessions. I know, I know I shouldn't, but it's for the safety of everyone. Checks and balances, remember? My memory bothers. Your memory is exactly that. Your memory. If people are telling you things you don't remember, then they're probably making them up. Deep down, only you know. Oh, I don't remember. Your mother willed herself to die? I don't know. It doesn't fill me with any sense of self-worth, if that helps. Let's talk with Mariana later. I think she's a killer. What do you believe? Because of what happened to my mother, I believe people could change the world with their minds. I think it's dangerous to have that ability, and I think that you and me, we're helping people rid themselves of these dangerous thoughts and a whole load of other issues at the same time. People pretend to believe and they have a different agenda. They're the ones you need to watch out for. They have boundaries and they are prepared to break them. Agenda. Are you stuck? Hmm. Huh. Snuff me out. Kill you. I'm just joking. Maybe. Oh, lol, she's green now. Uh, yeah, let's go with Mariana. How are your dreams? I don't dream, Doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. Said you have a dreams. You know about the stolen prescription pad? Why would someone steal Dr. Decker's prescription pad? I didn't even know he had one. I, I feel she's lying. How are you today? 
I'm fine, doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. He's lying. Something is off. Should take prescription pad. Wow. That's a low blow, doctor. It's just a question. And after all our sessions. I'm not a thief. Even alone, that was just unfortunate. Did you fight the death deaths? I prefer actions over words, doctor. You know that. You're lying about not dreaming. Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow, knowing it's the truth? Wait, what? Yeah. I did say that was a dream. Like our last convo? What's the truth? The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours. And people follow me. Even if it's the last thing they do. How about calling police? Think about the loan. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course. Either way, or I'd be cured, but... He asked for his money back, and I didn't have it. Oopsie daisy. People follow me into the sea. I don't force them, they just follow. To see the creature. Peter? I'm not sure what you'd call it. A wisp? A star? Because Cthulhu is so bright, warm. Necklace. Well, that, I think this Nothing. necklace looked different before, but now it's like full on Cthulhu. I don't know why it leaves me. It only wants the others. It, it feeds on them. Okay, I forgot how you type this. I don't have. How does it fit? When I look down, I black out. Victor makes her like forget. Just keep looking forward. No blackouts. I can just swim back to the top when it's finished. You really want to know? If I look down, it's writhing. Just limbs of people from the clubs and the bars. Not just from this week, but last week, last month, last year. They all look terrified, but somehow still alive. A creature. It's all inside them, poking holes through them that they shouldn't have. It just eats them. He's so Slowly. fucked up. Did you? That teacher eats them. The missing people. That's where they go. I don't know I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. The creature. I hear it. It's hungry. Nobody can 
No. It's our secret. What's missing, people? I can't explain what happened with John. He followed me back from the bar that night and swam with me under the ocean. I blacked out. He's gone. Who's John? You must have read about John in the news. He was a local student who went missing. He was a looker. And he had a way with words, but he was also a cheat. The creature liked eating him a lot. But I can't explain what happened next. I left him to be eaten. And the next morning, he turns up in my bed at my house. He's not wet at all. No signs he's been in the sea, but he has holes in him. Lots of holes. His inside is on the outside. Just a ball of tangled worms. And now they're blaming me, but you knew that, Doctor, didn't you? That's why I'm here. Why are you really here? They think I killed John. John and some others. They need to know whether I'm insane or not. Pulse. You'll have to ask. Who needs to know? My lawyer. He says I'm insane, but that he needs you to rubber stamp it. Do you think I'm insane, Doctor? It's our secret. What will you tell people that I'm feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? What proof do you have? You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. When you visit. I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed of what I've done. You make me feel like I deserve it. You get inside me, Doctor. What? And it hurts. And you don't care. That's a, a strong acu acu accusation. No. The creature killed John. Let's just call her insane. Why would I do that? Dr. Decker transferred our loan agreement to Clara Castleford. She bought him out. I owe her the money now. Hmm. I don't know why she did it, but Dr. Decker got repaid, and now my agreement is with Clara. You should ask her. Yes, you're insane. Thank you, Doctor. That's all I ever needed to hear you say. I really think she's fucked up. Has anyone else turned up at your home? You're a naughty one, Doctor. You know you visited my home. Why do you keep denying it? Because I didn't. Don't you remember? That's a shame. You had fun. Fun? If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. 
She's the woman that took over the loan I had with Dr. Decker. Get inside? Yeah, that was... You watch me undress. You say nothing, but still, you order it just like Dr. Decker did. I strip, ashamed. As I lie down, you bend over me. Your face. So horrible. Like worms. Crawling. Jaws like pythons. I'm very intimate. I lay there, frozen, while you violate me, punishing me. I'm not sick. You're sick. Yeah, she's fucked up. I've done lots of dancing, lots of clubbing, lots of socializing. Well, she believes she feeds the people to the Toro and that I visit her, sure. I don't. Worms. I don't know about. Hot. No, I've not been thirsty, not since I went back to the sea. Like she claims she lures people to the bottom of the ocean and feeds the creature, and that's why all the people are missing. I think she's Coco Case and killing them. That's not something. I don't have an answer. Why you feel like you deserve it? It's my fault they're all dying. They're following me. Guilty. I've got nothing. I don't have an end. I don't. Uh, the calls in John Tabunds. That's an interesting analogy, Doctor. Yes, all of them are mothers. Yes, you make all of this up. That's not something I know. Dr. Decker diagnosed you the same? Dr. Decker was a hack. You're special. You're good at your job. You know I have problems. Invite Dr. Kind of Hannibal style. I he was a hack. There are similarities, but you're not the dead doctor. Are you feeling okay? You visited me in my dream, by the way. Charlotte. No. Dream walking. I don't have anything. You have more withdrawal symptoms. Like I said, I've been fine. Yeah, I think she's the pain killer. Swimming. I don't know about Underwater. You'll have to ask. 
าเกิดน้ำมัน what about visiting your home can you remember what you did no I don't remember Ah, she's green now. Okay, fuck, fuck off. Uh, Erin, uh, Angel of Death. How are you today? I'm good. I feel better. Last session, that was all negative. I don't want to be like that. I made you something. A little thank you for being so nice. They're cookies. No, don't eat those. You know anything about the prescription pad? What about the prescription pad? Did you took it? Yes, I took it. I had to. Because my prescription pad went missing. I mean, the previous doctor. Why? Doctor Decker told me he could use it to take away my gift. You know about the death threats? Someone was sending Dr. Decker death threats. I had no idea. He never said anything to me about okay, it. Okay, now I feel she's the killer. Alien took bad. He was afraid of losing gift. Mariana is sus and killing people, the beast, underwater. Why are you feeling negative? I think those cookies are poisoned. I'm a happy person. And really, what's the point of being miserable? It doesn't matter what's going on at work or anything. Happy is the only goal. Max told me that. I think some footballer might have said it. Who is Max? I told you about Max, right? Didn't I mention him before? Girl, I don't remember. Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Okay, so she dated him. Max is 77. He was one of my patients. I thought he was dying, so... I shifted for him. Came an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. Was Max sweetheart? Eleanor, her name was, or is. Like I say, he doesn't even know where she is now. But she obviously still loves him. When I shifted, I felt all fluttery and excited. It's so sweet, isn't it? A creep I in one move, yes. Did you became Eleanor for Max? Yes. Max and Eleanor had dinner on Valentine's Day. I felt a bit weird when he asked me. But he said he just wanted to have one more date with her and then he wouldn't ask me again. And to be fair, he was a perfect gentleman. I mean... I didn't want to have that conversation. What's in the cookies? The usual stuff. Flour, sugar, butter, chocolate chips, and my special ingredient. A little herbalist magic to give you some pep. You look like you need it. You put herbs in the cookies? You can put herbal remedies in food. The effect's more subtle, but it does work. Did you poison cookie? No. What do you think I am? Fine. Don't eat them then. I was just trying to be nice. Reacted to this. 
Thanks for a present. You're very welcome. Uh, I didn't Max die. I don't know why Max didn't die. It usually works. What do you mean my it usually works? I just mean when I shift. They see their loved one and say what they have to say. And then there's nothing stopping them from moving on. Why? What did you think I meant? Why did you shift again for Max? Thing is, because Max didn't die, he saw me change back after I let go of his hand. There wasn't anything I could do about it. How Max died. Did you lie about Max dying before? No, that's right. Shifting does only work when someone is near death. But Max is dying. I mean, he didn't die when he was my patient, but he's still ill. Terminal, you know. Do you want to kill Max? Have you ever made cookies for... Not for Terry, for Max. Wait, have you ever made cookies for Terry? I only make cookies for people I like, Doctor. You don't like Terry? What conversation you did not want to have with Max? The I don't sleep with 77 year old men conversation, of course. Sure. I would, Dr. Decker, want to take away your gift. I suppose he was just trying to cure me. I mean, I thought he believed that I could shift, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just humouring me the whole time. Have you ever shifted outside work? The only time I've shifted outside work was with Max. Oh, and here, with Dr. Decker. Did you kill Decker? I could never hurt anyone. You have to believe me, Doctor. I don't know, like... How could Dr. Decker use the description part? Maybe he was just winding me up, I don't know. But he said that he could write a prescription and whatever he wrote on it would be true. Like he could write, Ealing can no longer shift. And that would be it. I wouldn't be able to shift anymore. Okay. Where is prescription? But Do you really believe that Whatever he wrote would become true. That's a long one. You never met Dr. Decker. He could make the craziest things sound true. And he showed me some of the notes he'd written. Wait, I think I've got one here. Here. See? Not from Decker. New evidence. Sarah so Decker will die tomorrow. And you will really help her to it, Decker. Sad Decker will die tomorrow. What do you mean? Sorry. 
Did you kill Sara? Sorry, I don't. Shifting usually. She asked what I thought she meant by shifting usually works. It sounded like she kills her patients. You think I kill my patients? I thought you knew me. Oh, you're worse than Terry. Mind you, I shouldn't speak ill of her. How is Terry? Sorry, Doctor, I'm trying to answer your question. She's green now. Uh, let's go with Claire. Because I told her to kill her husband again, because her husband is like zombie now. And he skinned a cat of the little girl. How are you today? I'm fine. Yeah, I you killed David. Again. Like you told me to. Did you see Anushka again? Anushka's fine, I would imagine. Her father came over to talk about the missing cat. It would have been an easier conversation had I not been splattered in blood and sweating like a milkmaid. Splattered in blood? What did Anushka father do? It seemed like he wanted to give me a piece of his mind, but when he saw the state I was in, he fled. There were no police that turned up. I suspect I've got away with it, at least a second time. Now all that's left is for you to write up my diagnosis. So, sure. How did you kill David? Um, with an axe. I got him to put his head on the wood block. He didn't really know what he was doing. He trusted me. I cut off his head. When I picked it up, he was smiling. Probably a muscle spasm. Do you know about prescription part? I never saw Dr. Decker's prescription pad. I imagine he kept it hidden away. I mean, you know that uh, Alien stole it. Did you ever write the death threats on the pad? I've already told you, I never saw his prescription pad, so of course I didn't write any death threats. It sounds like someone is trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame me, Doctor? Well, yeah, no. I don't really know the girl, but I did buy out her loan from Dr. Decker. I mainly did it to shut him up about it. But can you imagine having him as a creditor? That poor girl. I hope it didn't accrue anything more than interest. What can you tell me about Decker? Oh, the continuing saga of Dr. Decker. After he'd seen David and done his due diligence, he came up with an offer I couldn't refuse. Remember? The one I told you about when we first met. Hey, what was the offer? Dr. Decker wanted me to reanimate him. He said he would kill David unless I agreed. How you are supposed to reanimate him? He called me on Valentine's night. He promised to use a disposable phone so there would be no trace. I was supposed to come here, where I would find him dead, and then reanimate him. I agreed immediately. It seems that Dr. Decker went through with his half of the agreement. But I forgot to turn up. <laughs> so she didn't animate him. Okay, this is like the last chapter, so I want to use all the options. What diagnosis? That I'm not sound of mind. That I wasn't sound of mind when I killed David. It's up to you whether you want to mention any of our other conversations. I'm happy either way. I don't think you are insane. Doctor, 
Did I tell you about that time that I used the power of my mind to bring my husband back to life? I can't imagine what I'd do to the psychiatrist that double-crossed me. But I'm sure it will be fun. For me, at least. Where is David's body? I buried him near the lake house. I'm not sure I'll be allowed a second funeral. Besides, it's close enough to visit. Why she has a steak knife? Why would the Decker want to kill David? Yes. Dr. Decker threatened to kill David. That terrified me at the time. I still had hope that David would recover. I don't know if she pretends to be like kind of insane so she doesn't she really want to go to the prison honestly are you that think focus doctor you're not I felt it I surely that isn't what you need to be asking me right now no. Threats are usually made without the intention of following them through. This is quite the opposite. Oh, she's green. Okay, Nathan and Bryce. Let's go with Bryce first. How are you today? I'm not feeling very well. I tried to sleep. My favorite paranoid guy. And I slept for eight hours. When I woke up, it was looking at me. That, that thing was looking at me. Time was still frozen. I can't escape it. I'm doomed. Yeah, he seems fine. How was Jessica? I waved back at Jessica yesterday. And she smiled. It was bigger than normal. I think we may have made a connection, Doctor. The photos I have of her. I think I'm going to destroy them. They're my problem, not hers. Are you still stealing things? I teleported back into the art gallery after our session in the midnight hour. Ah, because he can now teleport. I replaced the painting. So, I haven't stolen anything for a long time now. Perhaps a cheeky borrow best describes it. You know about missing part? I didn't steal Decker's pad. I didn't have to. If I wanted to use it, I could just teleport in here and steal a sheet. Why take the whole pad? Why be that obvious? Well, kudos to whoever had the guts to do that. It wasn't me. What did they say? You've piqued my interest now. No idea. Uh, why do you think you are doomed? It knows what I did with Dr. Decker. It's been taunting me. What did you do with Dr. Decker? It wanted me to follow it, so I did. It brought me here, Doctor. Here. It thinks I killed Dr. Decker. I'm sure of it. Did you kill Dr. Decker? I took his body. It was me. I took it from the coffin because I didn't want him put in the ground. I don't know what I was going to do with him. I just I just didn't think burial would be enough. Maybe I would cremate him. But the body disappeared. Oh, the body disappeared. If only he'd been cremated like you will be. I have a private tool shed at the graveyard. I moved his body in there before the burial. But when I came back, he'd gone. It was locked and he'd gone. How did that happen, Doctor? 
How did Decca do that? Maybe he's back from the dead. Maybe someone else moved his body. If someone else moved Decca, they'd had to have picked a lock, moved the body, and then locked up again. Why go to the trouble of locking up again? Maybe he's back from the dead. Perhaps. It had crossed my mind that Dr. Decker perhaps resurrected himself. Maybe he wasn't dead. Just sleeping. Maybe he teleported. It's not out of the question to think that Dr. Decker teleported himself out of the tool shed. If I can do it, he probably can. That's the kind of thing I've been thinking. But the thing that's been following me, it can teleport too. I think the thing might be Decca. Is the thing Decca? What's been happening in the midnight hour? I've tried to avoid my extra hour. I tried to sleep through it. I did try one thing. I spied on you, Doctor. You have a strangeness, don't you? Okay, what I was doing? You live in the same house as Dr. Decker. What? I spied on him several times, so I know the house very well. You kept it almost entirely the same. I mean, I'm at the same place. Why do you live in the same house as Dr. Decker? Is it a perk? Or you? Dr. Decker. Not as smart. No, I know Dr. Decker. House is a perk. I thought it might be a perk. I'm sorry I spied on you. I was just getting worried that you weren't who you said you were. Just some mannerisms. Strangeness. It's good you've adopted his dog, though. I'm not sure many people would have done. I don't think the thing is like a... And so it is. You worried me then, Doctor. I thought you were starting to believe in the unbelievable, too. That thing was looking at you. The thing that's following me. It doesn't have a face. I saw it close up when it was standing over me. It has no face, no eyes, no mouth, no nothing. Inside its hood is just space. Just a black face. That you were trying to sleep to the night. I tried to sleep through my extra hour. I didn't want to face it. That thing has been taunting me. I wish I was still religious. Why? When something is chasing you, you start wishing that there was a higher power that could save you. I remember you agreeing with me that there are too many religions, but I wish there was only one, and one that I could believe in. Pick one, lol. Burial would be enough. Burial isn't enough for Dr. Decker because he's evil. I thought of anything we'd established that in our earlier sessions, Doctor. I had to destroy him properly, not just bury him in the ground. You're missing the point. And he teleported again into art gallery. I suppose I'm becoming lazy. Okay, Green, fuck off. Nathan, my guy, how are you? I think you know who killed Dr. Decker. So you're gonna have a good day. Can we talk a bit about hypnotism, though? I think between Mariana and Ellen, but I don't know. Who murdered Decker? 
This might feel like the darkest timeline, but it's not my darkest timeline. I didn't kill Dr. Decker. I look at one of your other patients, or maybe even your assistant. Yeah, Jaya seems sus also. How have things been with Mariana? Things have been interesting. Thanks to Mariana. You know she kills people, right? We went on a date. Well, sort of. She texted me this bar she was going to, and I just turned up. She can dance. I was transfixed most of the night. Next thing I know, I'm lying in my bed, at home, the room's spinning. The day moved forward. In fact, every night I go and watch Mariana dance, the day moves forward. Because something magic happens. Sure, Mariana likes you. Sure. Thanks, Doctor. That's what I'm hoping. I like him. I don't want to get him killed by a Siren. What do you feel about Hannah now? I'm at peace with Hannah now. I can save her. And I'll keep trying, but I must move forward. I did kind of ask you not to talk about this anymore, but I suppose you're not taking notes. Nathan, clearly I'm taking notes. <laughs> okay, this is so sassy, by the way. You know about the prescription pad? The prescription pad's missing. The one with all the death threats on it? Yes. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? How are they covering? I suppose it could be a coincidence, but I'm guessing whoever murdered Dr. Decker stole his prescription. Elin. I think actually Elin or Mariana killed him. They would be like the third probably person, but I really think it was Elin or Mariana. I've heard you can plant key words in people when they're hypnotized. How would I know if I had any? I think that the hypnotism didn't take, but maybe Dr. Decker did hypnotize me, and it did work, and he told me to think that it didn't. I think I found one of the key words. What key word? I can't say what it is. I don't want to trigger it. I was on the phone to my dad last night, and he said something, and boom, I fell asleep. Normally I wish that kind of thing would happen, but it just happened. I phoned him back, I thought it was seconds, but it was an hour later. I asked him what he'd said. He'd watched some NASA program. He was reading off planets. It was one of them. Oh. Funny. Saturn? You just went into a trance when I said Saturn, by the way. So he did plant me with something. I have absolutely no idea. Did you find out what the key word is? What is it? No. Don't say it. Write it down for me. And thank you. You know, there's something I've not been telling you. What? It's about time travel. Hey, what about it? I read a book about time travel. Hey, okay, cool. I thought what was happening to me was a type of time travel. I couldn't control it, but at the end of each day, I would travel back in time to the beginning and live it over again. I'm like Doctor Who, but I don't have a TARDIS, and I can't choose what time I go to. Except once. Except when? The Doctor said she was legally still alive. The only thing they could do was starve her. Hannah didn't die in the accident the first time around. It was worse than death. She wouldn't have wanted that. I was looking at a photo from around the time of the accident. I had a lot of alcohol, which I think was probably necessary. I jumped back to the junction. I started pulling out, but the lorry was already on us. I drove into the lorry to make sure. I didn't wake up in hospital because I woke up the next day. 
present day, things have changed. What? Turned up about her death. Her obituary changed in the press clippings I kept. It said she was killed instantly. Nothing else changed. Her family seemed to hate me more, which is ironic because the first time around they pulled her off life support. So I saved them the indignity. Now they just think it's my careless driving that caused her death. As? I don't want it to be triggered. Pluto. Pluto's not a planet, is it? And why are you even trying? Okay. Do you like dancing? Do you ask all your patients that? Or just the pretty ones? Who's the pretty ones? No. He's the last, by the way. Accuse! Oh shit. Did you talk description path? No, I didn't take the prescription pad. Why is it such a big issue? Who'd want it? Do you think the killer wrote out a prescription for Tamazepan, faked Dr. Decker's signature, and got it made up? Maybe. But I'm already on Tamazepan, Doctor. I wouldn't need all that drama. Nah, he's clear. When did you... travel back to the accident? The day before Valentine's Day. I was looking at pictures of Hannah and it just happened. The next day for me was Valentine's Day. The present day. Hey, who do you think is a killer? I really feel between Mariana and Ellen. You did not tell me she was on life support. Yeah, I thought she died instantly. I haven't been lying. As far as everyone's concerned, she died in that car accident. Instantly. I think actually, uh, either Mariana or Jaya. Jaya, I don't think so. I don't think Aline poisoned those. I think it was Mariana. You told me you could not travel. Uh, time travel. We just met. I chose not to tell you I traveled back in time. Sorry. Okay, if I, I could turn back time, Doctor. If I, if could, I could turn back time. I could find the... Yeah, share this. It's like share a song, by the way. Uh, me the achievement. Special keyword. I could... I could find a way. At midnight. David There's some... You rang my... Hey, fuck off. Shut up, everyone. I can't tell you anything. I don't think I know. Hey, let's talk with Mariana. What do you think, Math? Who's the killer? Mariana might be a killer. Wow. I think you're just jealous, Doctor. <coughs> I mean, if Mariana really was killing people, I'm pretty sure you'd have to contact the authorities. Maybe I, I that's will. What you do, isn't it? Maybe I will. Did you ever think to dive away from the lorry? I didn't have time. I jumped back to the split second the accident happened. The truck was already on us. I swerved left the first time, so I tried right. If I could have saved her, I would have done. Yeah, I same. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good one. I doesn't you try jumping back again to save her. I've tried, but I can't do it. To be honest, nowadays I'm more interested in moving forwards. They are all green. Okay, I think it could be Fuck. I really think about Jaya or Mariana or Ellen. Who could kill Dr. Decker? I have to look again. Jasmine and Bryce were at Art Gallery. Till 11 pm. Dr. Decker died between 8.30 and 10.30. So no Bryce. Couldn't be Bryce. We know that. Jay was fired by Dr. Decker one day before murdered. That was the whole eyes thingy. Jaya was a sign for USB stick. She didn't tell police about that. And Jaya is suspicious. Jaya took stemazepam. Doctor had in his blood stemazepam and alcohol. Someone could spike his battle. Jaya suggested test for fingerprints, but she never did. Or went on with test for fingerprints. And she suggests I'm crazy. Bryce didn't do that. Jaya doesn't take sleeping pills. Mariana... I think Mariana kills people, but she didn't kill Dr. Decker. I think that Dr. Decker was killed by Jaya. Let's go. I'd be careful what you say next, Doctor. After all, I know these sessions are being recorded. My job is to support the doctor, but only if the doctor is making the patients better. She you think him. you're making the patients better, doctor? I wasn't even here on Valentine's Day, and I wouldn't have you were. to lie. If you believe, as I do, that we're here to help patients restore their sanity, to restore order, then you'd be happy that Dr. Decker was she gone, killed him. regardless of who did it. Nobody wants the inmates running the asylum, do they? Well, let's say you're right. That I did kill him. My job is more important than yours. I watch every doctor that comes through those doors, making sure they keep their heads. Without she me, killed him. we'd have chaos. Without you, we'd have another doctor. So, doctor, let me ask you again. Who do you think killed Dr. Decker? Was it me? Or was it you? You got the killer. Yes, I knew it. She was too sus. But what about your patients? Not about you. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Einstein. Yeah, that's true. She told me that she's killing people. And now I'm stuck in the same day. Can you imagine? Every day she greets me like we're so in love. But I know what she's done. I know what she's going to say to me later in the evening. It's over. I can't be with her. Mariana is killing people. I know this. But and he's stuck with her. Mariana likes it repeating. It's normal. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. Um... Mutually assured delusions? I think Dr. Decker was projecting his weird fantasies on me, and it was just going to be easier to go along with it. To participate. I feel much better now I know I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't hurt anyone. You Did killed I? a bunch of people. Terry's been promoted to night sister. She hadn't been in, and I thought she was off sick, but apparently she was on a course. So, she's my new boss now. 
I've already started looking for other jobs. Well, good for you. It's no secret Terry hates me. But, you know, I've got to be positive about it. I could have a completely fresh start. There's a job on the children's ward I'm going to go for. Oh, hell no. I suppose in hindsight, it was self-defense all along. It hadn't occurred to me that I was just defending myself when I stabbed him. It probably just took the right lawyer to help me see it that way. I'm happy I'm free, obviously. Who wouldn't be? There's just one small problem, Doctor. My husband is still alive. After you cut off his I head? I think I was in my own head too much. Manifesting things that weren't there. But I'm very much an art connoisseur now. It's definitely helping keeping me sane. I've realized that I'm a very visual person and paintings can keep me occupied for hours. I go to Providence whenever I get the time. It's the local art gallery here. Okay, he went better, kind of. The best time to go is late at night. You get the place all to yourself. It's worse than we thought. Dr. Decker is alive. Alive? Your new doctor is Dr. Decker. But he's learnt all the powers of his patients. God knows what he'll turn up looking like next time. How will I know it's him? I don't know. Ask him. I'm now thinking. Whose body did we take from Henley Church? We possibly incinerated an innocent. Blast Dr. Decker and his infectious madness. They both stole this body that Bryce was wanted to bury. By the way, that was like random story because uh, every time you run a new game, there's possibly one of six murders. But I thought it was Jaya because for our assistant, she was like too bossy. Like she thought she's more important than everyone. The moment she she believed that well. Dr. Decker wasn't doing his job, she killed him. She lied to police that uh, she was this day, it, at the time when he was killed, but she was like, well, oh, it's from 2017. But then she lies, hey, task is more important, just don't tell the police, I had to pick up a SB stick, achievement unlocked, lucky guess. Nah, I knew the deduction. Hint me, baby, one more time. That just made the sponsors fun. Oh, wow, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Oh wow! Solved in one, two hands. Okay, we did it. Hey, that was a nice game. It's a nice story. Yeah, I wonder what are the other choices when you, you know. I was thinking between Mariana and Ellen. I mean, Mariana is killing people. She's just not killing Dr. Decker. And now the guy is stuck in the limbo with her and her telling her that she's a killer. The small order went okay. Girl from David, where well, her husband is alive without her head. That's unnerving. But yeah, she was like too bossy, the way she was like approaching, she didn't want to get, uh, she was like accusing Mariana of killing because of the money. And that wouldn't make sense because it was like 0%. And that he, she doesn't have to pay him back in case of death. And I suggested like taking fingerprints, or she suggested, but then she never followed it. And she never took battle to the police. So I'm pretty sure she spiked the battle. Because she said that she took Stemazepam too. And she was very sass, and it's like one gym, not a gym, was very sassy too. 